Hello everyone, uh, this is Jay Rodman. I'm playing Bard's Tale 3, and I'm continuing immediately from where I left off from the last session. We just came out of uh, Valerian's Tower with a Night Spear, having used the Water of Life and the Acorn to gain access to the top of the tower. So, whoop! Let's handbrake. I meant to do our quest notes. So we can check off the next step. We got the Night Spear, um, which gives us access to doing this next step, according to the king. I'm just believing him on all this of killing Sloth of Garnath using the Night Spear. Uh, but before I go off and do that, I'm going to go into town and check on my experience totals. So um, I'm not going to move the map around for all this, but the basic movement pattern is around the castle, over here to the Wizard's Guild. Grisnock gained a level. I didn't expect this. A level of constitution, or sorry, a level and a point of constitution. Uh, Shrentrell is 29,000 short. Or that was actually Lady Oakshield is 29,000 short. Shrentrell went up, gained a point of strength. Uh, Elena gets a point of constitution. Our Chronomancer gained may gain multiple levels. One of them is a point of strength, a point of constitution, another point of constitution, another point of luck. I guess I ground out a lot of experience. A uh, point of intelligence, point of strength, another point of intelligence. Wait a minute. I may have gotten more than I bargained for when I did the yeah when I did the um the trick with killing what's his face again uh Prohasti Aptarj I bet it set her to 9 million experience I don't know if I know how to fix that I don't think I have a appropriate save. Well, let's find out. Um, so the levels gained by non-casters, those are all as intended. Nothing was messed up there. So to fix this, what I would need to do is either edit, go back to the state I was in before I visited the trainer, and edit my experience back to where it ought to be, or go all the way back to where I just killed Bahapsi Aptarj, and yeah, I don't think that's... I don't think I have a way to really fix either them either way. So I think I may have to live with this. This is what I get for hacking. Well, wait a minute. This doesn't even make sense. So, uh, Elendor should have been had her experience raised to nine million, like the others. Or maybe you get your experience. Maybe you just get raised to level thirty-five. Does that? work out okay I think you just get raised to level 30 you get the experience of having reached level 35 equivalent to that uh, 
I don't have a way to fix it. And the net result on the game is going to be not that big. So I'm going to live with it. Should have kept more saves, but you only get one save in this game. I could have kept separate save states, but I don't know, I would have had to be more organized than that. The downside is I'm not going to get the sort of progression of gaining spells over time. Granted, the Griselda only had Mangar's Mallet to go, would have gotten it soon enough. The Chronomancer spells would have dribbled in over time. Oh well, um... Yeah, given... Given the... Facing the prospect of playing about 5 to 10 hours over again, I'm going to just suck it up and accept the benefits. Sorry, uh, to look at the spells I just gained that are of note. Um, I may have edited out a bunch of stuff where I showed the wrong browser windows. So, where I basically just came to the conclusion that I didn't want to play 10 hours and record 10 hours of video again. Um, the second part being what it really comes down to. <laughs> so here are the Chronomancer spells I just gained. Uh, Godfire, this is another ranged damage spell. It's actually worse than Frost Force. Same distance. Uh, also group spell, costs more mana, does less damage. But it's fire this time, if we need fire. Stun, this is everyone. So this is like R Rhyme or Mind Blade, except it doesn't have a distance limitation. So I guess it's a little bit more like Mangar's Mallet, but it only does suffice to you to what, 200 damage rather than Mangar's Mallet's 200 to 800 damage. Um, I don't know how much I'll be using this. I'll be using this sometimes. Luck. Okay, here's a party-wide uh, chance to hit improvement. Now, when they say defending, I don't think they mean armor class. I think they mean saving throws. Here's far death, which kills things up to 30 feet away. And that by far death, we mean it's sort of like death strike, but death strike only goes 10 feet. This goes 30 feet. It's not that far, but it's a lot further than 10 feet. Uh, this is an identify, which is not actually all that useful because it just does what the rogue does here. Um, cast six what? Uh, oh, cast five what? We're going to identify these gloves. Item has been identified. That's all you get. Like, you don't find out what kind of gloves they are. I mean, okay, we found out they were leather gloves, but Anything beyond that, we don't know. So it's really not that good, uh, especially now that my rogue is like a 99% chance of identifying stuff. Olay, we can finally cure old, which is really nice. This is a rarely used uh, spell, which you can cast on a single target to resurrect them and bring them to full health. Uh, regeneration is R-E-G-N. You know, it just fills someone's health. So, uh, G-R-R-O. Um, kind of useful in combat, but you could just cast heal, which brings everyone back to life at full health. And it costs about the same as heal. Heal, space, space. Oh, heal is cheaper. <laughs> so, I have an Archmage spell that's cheaper and better than Grave Grabber. So, that's not that likely to get used very often. Force of Tarjan is doing two 
Geo is doing Wither Fist, which we've been using a lot, which is short ranged attack, and a Sandstorm, which is a uh, Geomancer spell we haven't looked at much. Um, it pushes enemies back. Where is it? Sand. Sandstorm. Sast. It just pushes everyone back 60 feet. I don't usually want to push my enemies back if I'm casting giant spells on them. I want them to stay in range and get blasted by all my heavy artillery spells. So I don't cast this much. Uh, we also have Shadow Shield. I'm going to just sort of not use this for a while because that will give me a sense of progression, I guess. Um, uh, this is a slightly improved... Um, mystical armor. So mystical armor does two. This increases armor class by four. And then there's fatal fist, which um, hits everyone for a very large amount of damage. Those are the spells we got. They're strong. Uh, I would rather have had those spells dribble in over the course of the game. But I'd also rather not... Um, Uh, rewind time a long way. So there you have it. If you ever want to play this game with three casters, have those three casters in your party by the time you fight Bill Hasty, or else you'll be sorry. My, my attempt to work around the bugs of not handling that well distorted this game a little bit. Not all that much, though. Largely, um, I think what I'll probably do is just not use those spells um, until... Oh, how to estimate the experience point costs. I'll give myself a new spell level every world. So right now, Cold and Wither Fist is all we can do. So I didn't realize before, but uh, I didn't think I could go in the pit, but you have to kick to go into these locations. first thing I want to do is get a sense of the shape of the dungeon. So it's a sizable box. Uh, I think that this icon is square. So the fact that it, so that I think it's taller than it is wide or larger north to south than it is east to west. Uh, we have a new region, the festering hit. And we do start off in the lower left. Which is traditional for Bardstale at least. But this I think is the first dungeon. Oh no, the... Uh, the what was it called? The Catacombs? The first dungeon under Scarabray started us off there, but the rest have not. Two doors on the left. I need to lower again the intensity of these lines so that our walls stand out better. Okay. Is that the first magic mouth? I think it is, because I haven't seen that picture before. So, magic mouths, I don't think, are meaningfully different from the random messages that the narrator or whoever, or that, whatever, that pop up when you walk around. But they're certainly flavor-like, flavorly different. Um, I don't think that 
I have any idea of a different icon for them. White bones and bright blood. Life very frail. Be wary, mortals. Indeed, you shall fail. Slotha Garneth knows but one fear. His life is absorbed with the Night Spear. That colon dot 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 is awkward. So, it's hard for me to conceptualize who would have left that message. Perhaps a friendly mage enchants the entrance so that people stop going in and feeding the local menace. Huh, I thought I counted the spaces to the trap correctly. Maybe I did. Basically, I went forward two more once it said there was a trap, assuming that that would leave me one away from it and allow me to easily put it on the map. Okay, so we have the avians that cancel our turn and sable rangers. These are not new enemies. I'm immediately regretting my decision to cut off my access to the advanced spells because I'm getting withered. Oh, I should try out um, I should try out the um, water of life on them. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna do the trick. So, you have some water of life. I felt refreshed, but I'm still old. Okay, so ahead of us, we can see a trap. And then a wall, and then a door. I think there's doors on three sides. Uh, why do I have a wall here? I think I'm misjudging this somehow. Well, I can get rid of the trap now. I know where it is. Where's the special thing? Okay, I can detect it from here. So that means it's one, two, three. And this spot.
Okay, this pair of walls is just like that. And the special is this note. This place feels very strange. The darkness is palpable, as if almost alive, and it hungers for your flesh. How do we... Ha, palpable? I wonder if we get the sense that the darkness is hungering for our flesh. That's like very specific. Oh, and look at that. Some sort of one-way wall locked us in here. Fun with spinners. I don't know which way I'm facing. Swamp golems, okay. After that last round of getting oldified, I'm using the armor song more. Oh, I should use cold on the avians. And... Soul Whip on the other avian. Or they'll start canceling my turn. I missed the swamp golems. This might be, with my two guys old, this may be a, uh, a point where I have to start relying on spells to kill things. Because they hit sometimes. So I believe what happened is I stepped into the spinner and then walked this way. Okay, uh Flesh restore on our poisoned Grisnok. No, we never moved because the combat happened first. Okay, and we have more one way walls.
the other way. I'm pretty sure I'm stepping on another spinner right now. But it hasn't spun me yet. It's just flashing. Okay, now I have confirmation. Two spinners in the corner. Just to be irritating. One, two... And the last time I used that set of hacks uh, was in a situation where the game misbehaved and didn't give me any reward from killing uh, Rohastiap Tarj, even though I had. So I used those hacks to just get the uh, rewards the first time. So I'm kind of frustrated. That while recording it, this got me into a big, got me into trouble. Oh, I should use my weapons. I mean, I have ranged weapons. We have one enemy in front of us. Let's try the boomerang. And Thor's hammer. And that's it. Uh, the night spear. Yeah, let's throw a night spear at him. Well, I didn't get rid of him, but I'm going to keep trying. Boomerang. Thor's hammer. Healing song. Oh, I guess my uh, rogue should hide in shadows. Okay. Oh, I was going to start walking over to kill him because he was taking too long. The other thing I'm frustrated with is that I didn't detect the problem when it happened. 
Because I could have fixed it then. I could have just said, oh, look at that. My mage has got too much experience. I will set their quest flag to indicate they already got this reward. And I could have skipped it. Oh, I don't, I don't want to use that. I want to identify it. I miss... Misselected. Okay, and what are you? Another death drum. Perhaps I should start using them. Okay, I'm gonna try. Uh, this lower corridor again. Ape Rangers. I think that the drop table for items is the same throughout all Arborea. I could be wrong about that, but um, if I'm right, then it's sort of funny that I'm still getting new items. I guess that's just luck for you. Yeah, look at those numbers. These are her uh, spell success, her ability success chances. All 99%. Uh, I think that's because, I mean, it was, there was they were like 98, 97 very recently. I think that last level from 35 to 36 was enough to kick them up to 99%. I don't think they ever go to 100%. What? What? Oh, I just turned too early. I'm a little space out. Okay. Stairs and something special, both of which I didn't detect from here. So that means there's something special about the stairs, which I didn't put on the map because I'm, I'm bad. And look, it just added a basement for me. No, no, there's no basement. Go away, basement. Are there anything particularly mean in this group? Uh, I think the familiars are kind of annoying. Look at that, I just accidentally made a new floor. You know, I think this is not floor one. This is a downward dungeon. We went down, so this is... Move this floor 
down and delete this floor and delete floor one because it's going to be basements only probably Okay, um, these guys are not going down as fast as I want, and uh, Grisnok's getting pretty low on health. Part of it is that my warriors are old and are not hitting anything. Part of it is my rogue never hits anything. Uh, Wither Fist on the Black Guards. I'm just going to start pumping out Mine Blades. I don't know if that's my most mana efficient option, but... I should do the, the the comparison of Mind Blade versus Rhyme. How about Ogre Strength on Elena and Ogre Strength on Grisnok? Maybe they can hit things if I buff them. Okay, I think I see the problem now. They're summoning friends, and the friends have full hit points. That's why there are still some left, because I was using blanketing spells, and the newly items, sorry, the newly summoned friends would have full hit points, and it would go down to the blanketing spells. Huh, that was a weird pause. I was sure it was loading a fight, so I started mapping, and then nothing happened. Let's go... South first.
undead avians. Okay, we're changing up the formula a bit. I assume they'll do the same turn losing shenanigans. So I'm going to hit them with a ranged cold spell too, like I would normal avians. That's Mind Blade blanketing everyone with 70-ish damage, except for the avians, because they're far. There's the Cold Force killing off the avians. And Mind Blade number two. Most things have over 100 damage on them now. Do a Rhyme Frost attack and Ogre Strength on Elena so she could actually hit something. So most things now have over 200 damage on them. But they're still not dropping. That Ape Ranger kind of hurt. Um, Rhyme and Mind Blade. Okay, so now that we're over 300 damage on most items, most enemies, some of them are starting to drop. Probably more like 350 on many of them. And now coming up on 400, okay, maybe the majority are now dying. A little over the majority, as it turns out. I am going to ask, though, how this person turns their head without turning the helmet. I, I want to know how that works. Is it just like the completely wrong size helmet? Is there, is there, is their head, like, is their face detached from the rest of their skull? I, I don't know. Oh, so um, I looked up the Kato's Bracer. It um, prevents summons from getting unhappy. So in other words, it does nothing for me, I think. Because I don't expect to use summons. Uh, so I can get rid of it. Okay. Um, how close are we out to the east edge of this dungeon? And... Oh, I guess I misunderstood. I was thinking, why is there some of the dungeon on the far left? But I can't, I've, you know, never been to. But that's just the opening hallway. Can we sense the trap from here? No. Here we can't tell. Here we can. So, trap can't be here. We can safely go through this door. But we don't know if the trap is in this next square or this square.
But by checking, by going underneath it and turning north, we should find it's in the next one. Yep. So there's a trap here, and I'm going to remove it now. One, two, three. And there's a door to the north. And I think this is the end of the dungeon space. Yes. We're detecting something special, but what we're detecting is this magic mouth. Uh, we also detected something special up here. But uh, we don't know how tall, I don't know how tall the dungeon is. Pit beasts and ape soldiers and nymphs and blackguards. I'm going to wither fist the pit beasts because they're new, so I don't know their capabilities. Seems to neatly remove them. Um, and then backing up with a rhyme and a mind blade. I get the rhyme gets rid of the nymphs. They're pretty weak. I think they would have gone down to just the mind blade. Mind blade's getting rid of pretty much everything. What does arc fire do at this point? Eighty-seven. Not amazing. Decent for like two spell points. Uh, Flesh Restore. So, where are we? Fourteen paces east. So this is a 15 wide dungeon. Uh, I could actually just turn on the labels on this one. Show. Access values. Um. There we go. 14. I guess I could also say this is a uh, 14 wide dungeon. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I lied. It's of course 15 y because it starts with zero. But I don't think it's going to be 15 tall. So I'll leave, save that to later. Okay, if I can see the wall from here, I'm pretty sure that means it's one, two, three, four away, which is this wall that I already know about. I don't know how far away that trap is. I think I probably checked the wall here, but I don't know that I did. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, the trap is here. I'd like to know where they are so that when I go through the dungeon again, which admittedly we haven't done much of, uh, I can avoid them easily. Okay, so why didn't I see this door? Uh, is that, is that is that a mistake of mine, or? Let's use phase door to check it out. Okay, so we're allowed to go that way, and it's just a mistake of mine. So there's a something. Here-ish. And here. There's something in that box. Okay, this is curious. Like, why is that dead in there? I suspect one way walls coming the other way. Okay, so we can't see the something from here, so it has to be there. Now to go through the spinner again. Uh, let's walk along this wall. and then go through the door.
I think that that is one step away, or is it two steps away? That's definitely three away, or three or more. I'm having trouble reading this. I guess I should ask Trusty Auto Map. That's one, two, three. What does that map say about the distance of that? It says it is one further than I put it. I'm not surprised. Pit bees seem not that bad, and the Sable Rangers are kind of bad, so I'm going to attack the Rangers. Uh, it's armor class time, because I have things that do status effects. Hide. Cold on the Avians. Hopefully kill them before they take my turns away. Um, Night Lance on the Nymphs. Do I need that? No, I don't. They were weak. Rhyme. I'll do a double rhyme. Wow. It's coming up on my time limit. I guess I spent a while dithering around with the accident which cannot be fixed. This is also a slightly wider dungeon. So that was me trying to mostly uh, make the most of my sorcerer site. See what I can detect in other parts of the dungeon. I feel like cold should work well against hellhounds. I don't know why. There's like that classic fantasy thing. If if it if it has a fire inside it, should it be weak against cold because it needs to be hot, or should it be strong against cold because the fire allows it to defeat the coldness? Because it can like turn up its fire or something. I don't I don't know. Uh, it's I don't know how uh, uh, people were supposed to ever make sense of rules like that because they would and to kind of buttress that point random games choose random readings sometimes it goes one way sometimes it goes the other there's really no consistency. I 
I am a little disappointed that we don't get a special picture for hellhounds. I don't think they should look like regular old dogs, but storage requirements are important. You know, I don't remember which type of poison that was. It was like poison darts or poison needle or poison blades. And when I went to type it, I realized I didn't know which one I had just read. Why can I not hear the bard song? Oh, it's just too quiet. Okay, nothing, no special uh, squares in this room. Auto map says I stepped everywhere. See what the something is. Oh, you know what? There's like a one way wall there that I can tell for mysterious reasons. By that I mean auto map showed me. It had a line. And I was like, why would there be a line there? There must be a one-way wall. There's a little more than that though. Because there were hit point drain zones. And I think this gap in this wall here is just I never looked at it. I think if I I think I walked this way and never turned right. And if I turned right, I think it would look different. Uh, I'm going to go around and sort of confirm my theory just for... Entertainment value. Maybe I should be mapping as I go. Okay. Over here, there's a wall. goes this far and not further. This side there's a wall here, a gap of two, and then more walls. This wall continues. Okay, something like that. Uh, south. Yeah, now the wall looks different. Now that I looked at it from this side, it says, okay, okay, you looked at it, I can tell it was a wall in both directions. That is funny because, so when I looked at this wall only from the east, it only showed the east side. When I looked at it from the other side, it showed both sides. But when I looked at these walls from the side where they don't exist, it showed me the other side. So this behavior is totally inconsistent. Oh well, um, calling it for now. Will will we uh, survive the pit? Find out next time. <laughs>